in the studios of UPN starting. Welcome again, everybody, to Memphis Wrestling, the home of Rhythm and Brew. What a crowd we have this morning, Corey. And again, you can get your free tickets at the UPN uh, yep. studios. Sure can. And be Friday. right, right yeah. down here for all the action. Betcha. Speaking of action, take a look at last week's action. Oh, what, a what a brawl. Ah! It was supposed to be, Brian, a main event with Jerry Lawler taking on Bill Dundee, and it turned into a free fall for everybody. Everybody you can think of was in there, Brian. Everyone, any wrestler within 20 miles within that ring, Corey. Uh, <laughs> and it kept on going and going. I mean, what a brawl all over the place. It started off, as we said, as a main event. Jerry the King Lawler. Go, go. Take it on the superstar, Bill Dundee. Oh, boy. Big day today on Memphis Wrestling, Home of Rhythm and Brews. The King, Jerry Lawler, is here. We're going to talk to the King about that whole brawl. I tell you, somebody else that's not a happy camper, Brian, but he's around here today. Too sexy, Brian Christopher. We're going to talk to the Grandmaster a little bit later on. And I tell you, we're going to hear from a old friend, Brian, and I tell you, I just, I love this guy. I think the world of him. He's on the way soon to Memphis for the big Mid-South Fair show. Lance Russell. Lance. We're going to hear from Lance. Lance. A little bit later on today, we'll be talking to Lancer right here on Memphis Wrestling also. Well, right now, I understand that Jimmy Hart, the mouth of the South, and Reggie B. Fine, they back for a little time, and let's go ahead and get them out here and get this over with. You know, you were talking about old friend of yours being back here. I thought you were talking about me and Reggie, baby. You know, Corey Macklin, last week we told you that Reggie B. Fine was taking that big plane to Hollywood, California for a special meeting with Mystical. You didn't believe us? You said if Jimmy Hart's lips were moving, he's lying. Hey, Kelvin, you and Tony in the booth, roll this footage, please. This is Mystical along with you know, Reggie B. Fine, baby. I ain't gonna tell you, low budget. I'm gonna let the man introduce himself. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right here, baby. Who is this? Tell me who I am. Reggie B. Fine. That is my main man. Mystical. I mean, Mystical. Hey, man, you know what, brother? I'm honored. I'm honored for you to be here with me, man. Oh, man, you know what? If I can have you in my corner one Monday night in Memphis. You got that, bro. One third of the morning. Oh, if you need me, man, just take me. Oh, thank you. You ain't know. You want to take care of Jerry Lowe. No, I'm talking about Jerry Lowe. Oh, y'all. Watch out, because you're fine coming, baby. Oh, boy. You heard that, dude. You heard that, dude. Who you coming for? All right, you little boy. You watch what I tell you. I'm bringing this man with me. Next time I come to Memphis, I'm at his crib now. I'm in your car, dog. I'm in your car. I'm bringing him to Memphis with me next time. Bill Dundee, Darren Lawler, Brian Cooper. You little boy, you better watch out. Watch yourself. 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 We're going to try to get Mystical to open up at the fair for you when we have our show there on the 28th. Oh, boy, you guys. Hey, you're right. Mystical going to open up for Reggie B, baby. I'm the main man. And you know what? You know what we said last week, low budget? What? You're going to have to leave. Look at that Remember? camera, baby. Look hey, at that he camera. He's going to have to leave, Jumbo. He told me if I, if I had an interview with Mystical that he was going to come to Memphis, he wasn't going to have his ugly face on this show. That's no, right. I said, I said, right. no yeah, the deal was that if you signed a deal with Mystical, then I'd get out of here. You haven't signed a deal. All you did is talk to him and meet him and get his autograph. That's what he did, bro. Let's go wrestle. Next week, I'll have it signed, sealed, and delivered. Come on, Reggie. Oh. Hey, I ain't nobody. He got my autograph. I'm the star around here, you low budget. As soon as we get the signal from the referee, we're going to ring the bell. There's Jimmy Hart tearing out all this stuff. There's a look at Cobra back on Memphis Wrestling. They all sounds, and here we go. Brian, I'll open him out. this jacket over here, so don't be wearing this hat and jacket. Okay, I'll try to leave it alone. Move it out of the, the way six here. Six-man tag team bout coming up a little bit later on. Do sexy Brian Christopher. i tell you who else is here. Dangerous Doug Gilbert is hanging around today. So we'll be talking to Doug and Brian. It's the debut fans. Get ready for the first time in the studios. It's the debut of Cyborg right here today. Cyborg's here. He's here today in the studios, and we'll be seeing him a little bit later on in action. All right, hang around nice for that. Nice move. From Cobra, and down goes Reggie B. Ooh, Fine. Reg Reggie took a hit there. Hart's running his mouth on Just outside. Yeah, Hart. Brendan, right? Look out for Reggie. What is he doing? He's got something over there up his sleeve. Look at Corey Macklin. Look out for Reggie. What's he doing? Uh, are you a Cobra fan? Is that it? 
No, I'm not a Cobra fan. I'm, yeah, you know, I am a Cobra fan, but I'm for what's just right, Jimmy. That's not right for him down there looking for foreign objects. This is my favorite weatherman right here in the whole world. Do you hear him out here yelling, look out for Cobra? No, but I was watching what Reggie was doing there, and uh, he was digging for something. Oh, he's always looking for something. He slammed Cobra into that top turnbuckle, and boy, Cobra was looking good early on, and now Reggie be fine with a little leg up as he rubs his head across that top rope. <laughs> Thanks for coming to life. We have a great studio audience today. Oh, big slam from Reggie. Thanks for joining us, fans, at our early time, 10.30 every week. The Memphis Wrestling Home of Rhythm and Group. Wait a minute. What's that, Brian? Sounds like k -Quick. Oh, wait a minute. I hear the music that k upn30memphis.com to register to win a meet and greet with one of your favorite monsters from Monstropolis. Disney on Ice presents Disney Pixar's Monsters, Inc. You won't believe your eyes, so hurry and scare up your tickets today. Playing DeSoto Civic Center September 11th through the 14th. We interrupt this commercial break to bring you the following important news. South Haven Pontiac GMC is growing by leaps and bounds. They're building their reputation as being rated the number one Pontiac dealer in the state of Mississippi and the fastest growing dealership in the Mid-South. This is important to you because when you go with a leader, you get honesty and integrity, plus the best car deals anywhere. Pontiac driving excitement at GMC. We are professional grade. Put them together and you get South Haven Pontiac GMC, where the excitement just keeps building. Goodman Road, South Haven. If your cash is low, think Cash Depot. Hey, it happens sometimes. Too much month and not enough paycheck. When your budget has you in a headlock and you need cash fast and easy, think Cash Depot. Cash Depot does payday loans, title loans, and cash as checks. If your cash is low, think Cash Depot. Got a job and checking account? No problem. You own your car? No problem. Let Cash Depot be your tag team partner. Stop by one of these convenient locations and get the cash you need today. Remember, if your cash is low, think Cash Depot. Insurance companies make a lot of money by convincing injured people to settle for less than they deserve. Injury lawyer John Michael Bailey. After a car accident, you may think you're in good hands with the insurance company. They'll try to convince you that you don't need a lawyer. Without a lawyer, they make more money. With a lawyer, you get more money. So forget the good hands, get a lawyer. And while you're at it, get a good one. Call 529-1010 and get the JMB guarantee. Wrestling home of rhythm and bruise. Take a quick look, Brian. It's a Satan smash of the week that just took place momentarily. <laughs> Reggie be what fine. Like Heard the music oh, playing. Right. Just cracked it. I hear the music. Yeah, it was Jay Quake oh, CD, and oh, he was looking oh, for the dressing room door, looking for Jay Quake. Oh, Meanwhile, he got rolled up, but he didn't like it. No, he no. put some heat on Cobra. He and Jimmy Hart jumped right on top of him, and man, smashing away. Reggie be fine. Heaven a fit, boy, that he lost that thing. But yeah, I'm telling you, you better that. believe he's got something else up his sleeve. That's Reggie that's be that's fine. A hot Reggie be fine. Hey, what we want to do right now? Oh, wait a minute. That's the moon dog, it sounds like, Brian. What do they got going on now? Oh, here's April. with pink bows in their hair, get them in a match and they lose? What is that? She has no ability in training dogs. She has no idea how to train these dogs. I, I know what these guys like. They like pretty women. And I obviously 
am a very pretty woman. So next week, these dogs are going to be trained by me. Well, I guess we're here from Miss April. I saw you out here taking notes, so I guess you're looking for some opponents that put these moon dogs against, huh? I think whoever I pick, they better be scared. Because these guys are going to be trained. Right, please. Boy, well, she's got a formidable thing. There they are, April and the moon dog. Get out of here. Go. Oh, she's ordering around, That's Brian. back. She's not very nice with them, is she? They seem Man. to be uh, doing everything she wants and everything that uh, she says the moon dogs do for it. Let's ring the bell. Get our next action underway. I guess that's going to be pretty interesting. Uh-oh. Oh, here comes Brian Christian. Let's get her out of front. We, we got a match coming up, Brian. What's up? We got a match coming up, huh, Corey? Yeah. Well, guess what? What? I'm tired of being Mr. Nice Guy. I'm tired of coming out here and calling people on the phone and asking people, you know, to give me this, give me that. All I want is my loser leave town match against Doug Gilbert. So, Corey, you know, you know, like I said, I'm tired of being Mr. Nice Guy. So we're not going to have a match right now. You can let go of this microphone. Exactly. Now, I can either start busting stuff up around here, busting up some cameras, Busted up some monitors. That's right. I'll tell you what. Give me some cord. Give me some cord. Because we are not about to have a match. We're not about to have a show. We're not about to have anything. Unless, unless you think y'all can have a match around me sitting here in the middle of the ring. Because I am not moving from this spot right here. There'll be no show. You hear me? I'm not moving until I get my loser leave town match against Doug Gilbert. You hear me? You hear me, Taglin? You hear me, Macklin? Well, we're you hear me, Valiant? We're gonna have I to guess, I guess uh, uh, J Jimmy Vane haven't taken his uh, Metamucil or his uh, <laughs> Viagra, yeah. Anything to get his old butt up. And Dundee, I don't know, I don't know what type of position he holds, but he won't answer my phone calls. He won't talk to me. And Doug Gilbert, it's chicken as the day is long. You hear that? Doug Gilbert, they all know you're a yellow-bellied, egg-sucking dog. You're scared of me. That's why you won't accept this loser leave town match. I want you gone. What's it from? Oh, here we go. There's 20 other wrestlers here. Hey, I'll tell you what. You want to speak into this mic so that everybody can hear what you say? But I'll tell you what you better say. You better say that I got my loser leave town match. Here you go. Hey, there's 20 other guys back there. This ain't all about Brian Christopher. What? Now, just get your butt up and let's go, because we're going to the... Oh, we're... Hey, hey, all right, you spoiled brat. You want to lose and leave town? You got it. Hey, did he say... Is that easy? I got my loser leave tail match. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, see, it didn't have to be such a big problem. Did it, Corey? That's all I wanted from the get-go. I got my loser leave tail match. All right. Well, I could have told you that, Brian. It wasn't a big deal, eh? but he said he's all upset. But it looks like later today. Today, today right? That's right. Today. Today. Today, right? Let's well, take a break. We'll be back. Who knows? The Mid-South Home Builder's Guide brought to you by 84 Lumber is the most exciting new tool for buying a new home. Join me, Kristen Terrell, every Sunday morning at 10 on ABC 24 WPTY. We'll see how this can become this and how you can make it your own little piece of the world. Several Mid-South Builders and other companies will provide helpful hints and beautiful ideas. For more information, log on to abc24.com. It all happens on the Mid-South Home Builders Guide, Sundays at 10 a.m. on ABC 24 WPTY. Insurance companies, they all tell you that you're in good hands. 
or that like a good neighbor, they're there. But after a car accident, we all know what really happens. Insurance companies hardly ever deliver what they promise. Insurance companies are not on your side. I'm injury lawyer John Michael Bailey. If you've been hurt in a car accident, don't settle for less than you deserve. I fight insurance companies every day. Call me at 529-1010, and I'll fight for you. Get out the balloons and the confetti. We're celebrating 22 years at Staten's Rental Purchase. And we're bringing out the big bargains like this 65-inch high-definition ready big screen at only $44.99 a week. Then add a DVD VCR combo tech for only $4.99 extra. It's huge. Look for bargains throughout all 16 Staten locations. Use the anniversary coupon for additional free rent. Credit's never a problem. Because at Staten's, we say yes. I've been hammered all my life, but when it comes to car insurance, don't you get slammed. Call the man from AutoPlan. AutoPlan has nine locations to serve you and no down payments. So remember, don't get slammed. Call the man from AutoPlan today. Liability is the law, so call the man from AutoPlan. UPN 30 Studios. They stopped by uh, during business hours, got their free tickets to our Saturday morning. Now, new time with football season on 10.30 is when we start now. Yes, sir, it is. Let's get out right now and talk to the Birdman. Coco Beware. Coco is back in Memphis Wrestling, and he's got a quick word. Coco back again this week. I'm telling you, Corey, I'm all hot, brother, and I can't stop. I'm telling you, come on, bring him on out here, brother, because the bird man is hot. Watch me today, brother. I'm going to be flapping those wings. I'm going to be moving and grooving, Corey. Come on, baby, get him in the ring. All right, Coco headed to the ring. Alternative Express is our next action coming up. Bell sounds. Here comes the Indian. Him war cloud and flex. They'll team up with Birdman Coco Beware all on one side. And they'll rest their Ring the bell, and we've got a we go. six man on Memphis Wrestling. Oh, the room is through. Boy, this lady of Athena's weird, isn't she? I'm telling you. Uh, if you look at her head, give me a ugly look. More woman than you could ever handle, and weird does not begin to describe me. Well, I wouldn't doubt that. But let's talk about the Alternative Express. You know, I was up here a few weeks ago, and I noticed that these are the only two men in this promotion that have any potential. And so I figure, with my talent, looks, and ability, I can definitely help them make it level. See those fingernails she's got over here, Brian? Yeah. Painted black. Come on, man. Okay, I am afraid of this lady. I'm uh, nervous. I'm glad I you're sitting know. where you are over there. Wow. Flex went Me into the ropes. Steely Lee swings out from even duck. Flex jumps over. Nice move. Good takedown from the young man. And Stevie Lee down on the mat. The Alternative Express and Lady Athena, and I'm telling you, every last one of them, Brian, bear watching them over there in that corner. Oh, look at him. Choking yeah. Flex over there. Two against two one. Against one. Yeah, but Flex he gets, out of, gets out of there. Elbow to the face. Coco oh, in the ring. Taking Lee's charge. Bird, man. Yeah. Look at him go. Looking good. He backs Stevie Lee up into the road. Oh, big clothesline from Coco Ware. All of with the elbow down on Stevie Lee. Duke down in the alternative express. And then they're to break it up. Here comes War Cloud. All flex. We got everybody in there. Pushed him out of the ring. Get away from over here. We don't need him over near iron. Coco, he's got Stevie Lee, too. 
Look at nice that. move from the bird man. He's got Coco. all the moves. He's still got all the moves he ever had. Corey. Coco Beware Flex in a war cloud. Get the victory here today on Memphis Wrestling. Home of Rhythm and Bruise. It's finally here, the star-studded premiere week of the Ellen DeGeneres Show. We've been working on this show for days. Monday, Ellen's very first guest, Jennifer Aniston. And you thought I was pretty. And Tuesday, he's one of the biggest names in music. It's Justin Timberlake. And later this week, Betty White, Dennis Quaid, and lots more. We're almost, almost ready. The Ellen DeGeneres Show premiere week starts Monday. Only on UPN 30. Hey Memphis, this is Steve Crawford. Did you know that September the 16th is gonna be one of the hottest nights of the year? Come join me and my all-star band on the roof of the Gibson Guitar Factory. We're gonna cap off the Terminex Crawford Classic with a night of great food and jamming music, all to benefit Porter Leaf Children's Center. Now if you want tickets, you better call soon. 877-639-3728. I promise you, September the 16th is gonna be one hot night in Memphis, Tennessee. been hammered all my life but when it comes to car insurance don't you get slammed call the man from auto plan auto plan has nine locations to serve you and no down payment so remember don't get slammed call the man from auto plan today liability is the law so call the man from auto plan this fall on the frog steve harvey's back on the wb now you don't like the tail i don't like the whole rest taking your friends and neighbors and throwing them in the spotlight. What do you do for a living? This is what I do for a living. You make sandwiches? With my feet. What the hell is buying these sandwiches? There's Big Time, and then there's Steve Harvey's Big Time. WD is moving to UPN 30 September 8th. This fall, from producers of The Simpsons, Righteous dudes everywhere. Oh, freaking Sammy! <laughs> Meet Dwayne and Denny. We're big time roofers, bro. Stand straight. Two dudes with dreams as big as their hair. This roof is our stairway to the stars. There, business in the front. Who could tell me the three sweetest words in the English language? Bacon, double, cheeseburger. But party in the back. Wrong. Pamela Anderson Mullet. Their mom is still the bomb. Yeah, yeah. She has a fine new man. High five for Super Stepdad. Together. WrestleMania tickets. It's perfect. Mom always loved to watch wrestling. They'll put the hammer down on Party Town. Better watch your ass world, because nothing's going to stop them. Tuesdays this fall on UPN 30. Main event time, Brian. Right. <laughs> Too sexy, one. Brian Christopher. Dangerous Doug Gilbert. Loser leaves town. Can you believe no. somebody is out of Memphis wrestling? This is no, this is no joke. No, no, you're right. It's no joke. <laughs> and right here today, right smack dab in the middle of the ring. Let's ring the bell. Let's get this one underway. Okay. Brian Christopher's got what he wanted. The old saying is, be careful was, what you wish for, yeah, you just right. might get it. Be careful. And he's got it. Here he is. <laughs> Looks pretty confident. See, Corey, I get what I want, and I'm all smiles. So, Gilbert, I want everybody at home set your feces are, get it playing, because get it recording. This is going to be the last time you ever see Dangerous Doug Gilbert on television again. All right, Memphis, let's get it going. Let's get it rocking in this house. Let's get it fired up in Where's his oh, part? Huh? Uh, where? Uh, do what? Part? Where's his part? What do you mean, Bill? Where's his partner? His partner? No. He has a partner. It's a tag match, loser leave. It's B.A.D. and Shock against Brian Christopher and Kevin White. Now, where is Kevin White? What are you talking about? Yeah. 
It's a tag match. No. I never won. You never, you just ask for a loser. If you got one, and whoever gets pinned leaves forever. And it, uh, yeah, no, get the, get it. Ring that bell and get the tag match started. It is a tag match. Kevin White, get them all out here. Well, in a minute, what are you doing, Dundee? What is, Dundee's running around in a ring to bell. You Christopher. You want to run your mouth. And as for a loser leaf town, well, let me tell you something. Punk, you got a loser leaf town because I can't stand you and I can't stand him even more. I'm sick of him. Boy, hey, the match is officially started. The bell ring, get in the ring to get baby. Come on. I don't think this is what uh, Brian Shark is Shark and BAD, we saw the debut of these two guys last week. They are in a loser leaf town. Ordered by Bill Dundee against Kevin. Why in the world would you even put a young man that you trained, Bill, Kevin White, in a loser leave down? Like I said, whoever gets pinned leaves forever, so maybe something will happen to Kevin White. Who knows? What is wrong with Dundee? Is he taking Paxil or something? What is wrong, Bill? <laughs> In one sense, Bill's right. He only asked for the loser leaves down. And, you know, Brian said he wanted a loser leaves down match. So I guess Dundee's right in that sense. But you know, Bill, that he wanted Doug Gilbert. In. Oh, you don't always get what you want, but he wanted a loser leaves, so he got half of what he wanted. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Well, now, Mr. Grizzle is going to take a big hit today, Corey, with this loser leaves down. A lot, of, a lot of challenge in that ring. Two counts. And quickly, why we saw for the first week last week, Jock and BAD, and that team was almost history quick. That could happen, Brian, because whoever gets bent is what you're saying, right, Dan? Whoever gets bent, Canada, one, two, three, is gone. Now, so that means, now that doesn't eliminate the whole entire team. It's the man that loses. It's the one man that gets bent. And believe me, I've had a lot of losing leads, and I have a little experience in them. And it's not very nice when you go to pack up and move on. Boy, a young man like Kevin White's in a loser leaf town. Man. Trained by Bill Dundee. I just can't believe he'd do it. Hey, you don't know how that feels, Dundee. I was in a loser leaf town about 15 years ago, and it took me 15 years to come back. I wish it'd take you 15 more to come back. Boy, he's a pain. Look at this. He rolls up. Two count. All he's able to get. Kevin White was almost out of here. Well, with, look at Christopher. He wanted the match. He's not even going to try to tag the kid to get back in. He didn't want it too much, did he? What? Oh, Christopher gets in there now. Look at him go out to shock. One half. Now that's Shut the referee the block. Shut the referee block. They just going with the belt in the ring. Kevin White. He's got B.A.D. Whipped him in. Close line. Kevin White. And B.A.D. already? He was worried about Kevin White. He's holding his own because he was trained right. The Grandmaster, looking good. Still to come. This guy's in a loser leave town match and he's dancing? I can't believe it. The King, Jerry Lawler, a little bit later today. Christopher, two count. Whoa. That was close. Just in the nick of time, B.A.D. kicks out of it. Grandmaster! Oh, down! Oh, right below the belt on B.A.D. That didn't look too legal to me. Christopher looking hot. Double suplex and down. One, two counts. And shock in to save his partner. Just some time coming out of the ring to kick him out. First one to get pinned. It's a loser leave town. Slap against Kevin. Wow. I mean a chop across the chest. A slam from BAD. Kevin White's in trouble in there. One, two. Ah, uh, Sandy yelling and screaming over here. He thought he even had a freak out. Hart's upset outside of the ring. Shock and BAD working over.
for Kevin White. Body slam and down. Whoa! A flip and a move from Shock. Nobody home, and Kevin White back on his feet. He crawls over and gets the tag. Oh, yeah. Here comes the Grandmaster. Brian Christopher looking good. Into the road. He falls with a big kick. BAD jumps in, and Christopher on top of him. Grandmaster Grand backs Master him up. taking care of business. One on two here. Shock turns around and a big, I mean big, kick. From Grandmaster Sexton. He's doing up there. Out of the ring. Whoa, big leg. This should do it. One, Jimmy Hart. What is Hart doing in the ball? Yeah. Give him something, Brian. He's got Hart. He's got Hart. And he's nailed. Whoa. Out on the floor goes Hart. He nailed him, and Hart's out on the floor holding his head. He's knocked over in the crowd over there at ringside. And Christopher, oh, he clobbered Hart over there. Grabs B.A.D. Slams him over the top. You took a quite a... be stopped. You saw what happened. They jerked me in the ring. I can't believe that. I can't believe it. Brian Christopher off the road. He nailed Kevin. Boy, we've got everybody in there, it looks like. Everyone taking somebody, a feed in here. Somebody, they are out of Memphis. Wait a minute. Hart's got a chair. Hart's got a chair. This is turned oh. into a war. Man, shot. He clobbers, clobbers Kevin White. Oh, boy, look out, wait a minute. They got a double pin. Here comes Doug Gilbert. He now Christopher. Referee says, ring the bell. Meanwhile, Shock and BAD had Kevin White covered over there. Shock and BAD are looking because they thought they had him done. Meanwhile, Gilbert's jumping around, dancing and prancing. He's all over G60 Brian Christopher. Boy, oh boy. Doug Gilbert jumped in. And Gilbert taking on Jimmy Hart. Boy, I'm telling you. Well, Doug interferes in the loser leaves town. What was that for, Doug? Corey Macklin, see, when it's free season, you let free season guys take care of the work. When it's the main event or the Super Bowl. Whoa, wait a minute. Listen, what I did, it's great. Look at Brian Christopher. Let me tell you something. What's so great about what you just did? You just cost us the match. We could have put Brian Christopher out of Messrs Wrestling, and we could have put that idiot, low-life, redneck Kevin White out of here, too. But all you do is think about yourself, so you bring your fat carcass in here and stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Listen, hold it. You're saying I get in your business? Do you think I care about you? I'm the one that carries this part. I carry Jimmy Hart's name, and don't you ever have the audacity to say a word to me. Because you look at Brian Christopher. I am this thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You ever
Has this ever happened to you? Don't despair. We can do the repair. Hi, I'm Ray Corey, the Pull Apart Man. Our glass specialists have over 20 years of experience, and Pull Apart will install a windshield for as low as $89.95. We'll also do glass installation while you wait. And door glasses installed for as low as $49.95. So for used auto parts, steering column repair, glass installation... Don't forget, we'll buy that old car. You can't do better than Pull Apart. Pull Apart. We interrupt this commercial break to bring you the following important news. South Haven Pontiac GMC is growing by leaps and bounds. They're building their reputation as being rated the number one Pontiac dealer in the state of Mississippi and the fastest growing dealership in the Mid-South. This is important to you because when you go with a leader, you get honesty and integrity, plus the best car deals anywhere. Pontiac driving excitement at GMC. We are professional grade. Put them together and you get South Haven Pontiac GMC, where the excitement just keeps building. Goodman Road, South Haven. Get out the balloons and the confetti. We're celebrating 22 years at Staten's Riddle Purchase. And we're bringing out the big bargains like this 65-inch high-definition ready big screen at only $44.99 a week. Then add a DVD VCR combo deck for only $4.99 extra. It's huge. Look for bargains throughout all 16 Staten locations. Use the anniversary coupon for additional free rent. Credit's never a problem. Because at Staten's, we say yes. Wow, what happened? I can hardly believe my eyes, Brian, to see shock and BAD what they pull, but I tell you what I want to do right now is let's go to the king! Yeah, there he is! The king and Jerry day this has been oh my I mean, you got brian you and corey have absolutely no control of this show i don't know what has happened out here we got to get handsome jimmy Valiant back or something i mean what is that brian christopher first of all he wants a loser leaves town match with doug gilbert instead he gets a tag team match uh, doug gilbert comes in and interferes so nobody has to leave town but now doug gilbert gets beat up by shock and bad and jimmy uh, what is going on i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe what happened what decision in the camp there was well i'll tell you well you know what uh, it's not always a bad thing when you see doug gilbert and, and getting beat up by by uh, shock and bad i just wish that uh, he'd do a little i wish they'd beat each other up that would be the only thing i'd like better but let's talk about something else let's talk about what is coming up at the mid-south coliseum during the mid-south fair okay this is oh, yeah. tickets are on sale right now king there it is it is the Mid-South Fair Rumble at the Roundhouse. Tickets on sale. The box office open today. Three for one. You get uh, free admission to wrestling, free admission to the fair, and free access to the main stage concert at 8 o'clock with Jeffrey Osborne. It's all inclusive. Tickets start as low as 10 bucks down at the Coliseum. So the cool thing is you can go out now. You can get your tickets for the wrestling, but you can go early. Huh? You can yeah. go early, you can go to the Mid-South Fair, you can go out there, you can ride the rides, you can do all the kind of stuff that you want to do, and then you can come and see the King in action at the Mid-South Coliseum, and then after that you can go back to the fair, see yeah. Jeffrey Oswald. Oh, it's going to be a great day, and it's all going to be taking place on Sunday, and um, I, I, you know what, we really uh, haven't decided on my opponent yet for the Mid-South Coliseum, but I can assure you this, it's going to be a surprise to everybody. They're about, they're about, yeah. Would I like for it to be Triple H? Yeah. yeah. We didn't get to talk too much about that last week, but uh, uh, a lot of people uh, were down at the Pyramid when the WWE rolled into town, and it was the King and HBK against the World Heavyweight Champion Triple H and the Nature Boy Ric Flair. And you know what was great? Before the match, Triple H got it all up in my face, and he says, it, it, so many times he's come to Memphis and he's heard all about the king's reputation, but he didn't come down here to get whipped by the king. But what happened? He got whipped by the king right in the middle of the ring at the pyramid, brother. But I'll tell you what, that's going to pale in comparison to what's going to be at the Rumble at the Roundhouse because, you know, wrestling, Memphis, 
It's all synonymous with the Mid-South Coliseum, and that's where we're going to be on the 28th, and I'm going to be there, and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody else there, okay? It's going to be a big day, King. We're looking forward to coming up with the Mid-South Fair on Sunday, the 28th, 5 o'clock. Thank you, Gordon. See Thank you, King. Hey, here's Doug Gilbert, and, uh... And... Hey, Doug, you know your role. You listen to me, Corey Macklin. You let two guys come out here and jump on you at the same time. You listen to me, Jimmy Hart. Yeah, it's my fault, and I'm a man. I'll take the blame for it. Jimmy Hart, I played by your rules. I've done what you said. You stacked them up, and I've knocked them down. And if you think B.A.D. and his partner are going to come out here and jump on me, like I said, you look at them, they're like the preseason. You look at me, I'm postseason. You brought everybody, and you stack them up, and I'm knocking them down, and you're going to take their side. Corey Macklin, not nobody ever put their hands and left my brother hot stuff Eddie Gilbert laying down. Not nobody is ever going to put their hands on me and leave me laying down. So what I need, since last week, Corey, Jimmy Hart said, and he told me, he said, Bill Dundee is the boss. Bill Dundee is the CEO. Well, I am now tired of playing by everybody else's rules. I want to play by mine. So let's see if we can get Bill Dundee out here right now, Corey Macklin. When I was growing up, I had a whole lot of respect for it. Listen, Superstar. I mean, what, what, what do you want? Why are you out here I mean, screaming and hollering? Bill, you listen. Like I said, I did have a lot of respect for you, and so far right now, I still do. What I want is B.A.D. and his partner in this ring right here, and me get a partner, and me kick their butts right out of Memphis. Can you do that? That sounds like a pretty fair idea, and yeah. But hey, hey, you're a single wrestler. You ain't got a partner, so it's their tag team, and you ain't got no partner. Listen, hold on, Superstar. I don't have a partner. Maybe a lot of these people don't like me, but I got a couple guys that have been legends around here that would be more... And be dangerous Doug's partner. So how about this? All you gotta do, listen. Be a man. You're a man. Be a man and give me what I want. Because listen, I know you and Jimmy Hart are cool, but Jimmy Hart's not gonna stab me in the back and shock and BAD ain't either. The Gilberts don't play like that, superstar. You wrestled my dad, you wrestled my brother. Nobody is gonna leave me down. You know what I'm saying? Can you do it or not? Let yeah. me get a partner. Let me get a partner and let us wrestle in this ring or wherever you can book it. So what you're saying is you want a tag match with Bad and Shock and you need a partner because you ain't got one, right? No, That's no, no, no. I can get a partner. Bill, you're not that old. You're right. You're not that old, Bill. You can hear me. I have got a partner I can get. All you have to do is write it on the sheet of paper and give me what I want. All right, all right. You're right. I ain't that old, and I'm not like handsome Jimmy. I don't have to drink no gallon of Geritol. You're right, and you're absolutely right. I can give you a tag match, and I'm going to do it. We're going to have a tag match. That's what I want. Bad and shock. Shock and bad. Right. And me? And my partner, I can choose. Oh, no, 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 no. We never got that far. You can't choose it. I'm going to make the tag match, and I'm going to choose the partner. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. What you said to me, I ain't that old, and I ain't deaf, and I certainly know you ain't deaf. So you just listen to this and read my lips. Your partner is Brian Christopher. What? No, listen, listen, Bill. You can't. Bill, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Well, he asked for a match and he asked for a partner, and the superstar has signed that dangerous Doug Gilbert's partner. Too sexy, Brian Christopher. Oh. Take a break. We'll be back. Wow.
It's the call you've been waiting for. When can you start? Now! Oh, that's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! Who? Who, oh, oh, baby? Who? Oh, me! Me, baby! Who? Oh, oh. Who? We can get you started, too. We've got focused courses, training in the latest technology, and great placement services. All you have to do is call. Vatterock College. When can you start? Me, baby! Me! If your cash is low, think Cash Depot. Hey, it happens sometimes. Too much month and not enough paycheck. When your budget has you in a headlock and you need cash fast and easy, think Cash Depot. Cash Depot does payday loans, title loans, and cash is checked. If your cash is low, think Cash Depot. Got a job and checking account? No problem. You own your car? No problem. Let Cash Depot be your tag team partner. Stop by one of these convenient locations and get the cash you need today. Remember, if your cash is low, think Cash Depot. Hurt in a car wreck and try to get money from the insurance company? Boy, that's the pit. Call 683-7000. I'm attorney Corey B. Tribe. We can bring in the experts, and the insurance companies know it. We'll work to get you top dollar and keep you out of the courtroom. If you've been hurt, you can call 683-7000 right now. The call is free. Don't let the insurance company make you race around for nothing. Call me, Corey B. Trot, and we'll go all the way for you. Now that's full service. Here we are back on Memphis Wrestling, home of Rhythm and Brews. Action coming up round town, brought by Auto Plan Insurance. Got a bunch of it coming up, Brian. Well, let's take a look here. Lexington, Tennessee. Hello, Lexington. September 13th, 7.30, bell time at the Lexington High School. You can get advanced tickets at, at the Lexington High School. Jimmy Hart there, Jerry the King Lawler, Doug Gilbert, Brian Christopher, the Moondogs. Huge lineup. September 13, Lexington, sponsored by the Tennessee State Champions, the Lexington baseball team. And again, advanced tickets available at Lexington High School. Other places across the Mid-South coming soon to Walnut, Mississippi, Forest City, Arkansas, and of course, Corey, the big one here yeah. in Memphis, Tennessee. Mid-South Ferris Rumble at the Ron House oh, is signed Sunday afternoon, a big matinee show, 5 o'clock bell time, Mid-South Coliseum. Tickets are on sale as we speak right now today at the Coliseum box office, all Ticketmaster outlets. I'll tell you who's going to be there with us and who's going to be right here with us in a week or two. He's standing by with a word. Let's hear from Lancer Dancer, Lance Russell. Yeah, Corey Mackler, what do you mean interrupting me right in the middle of hard work out here? Here I am at the pool working myself to death. And you, well, let me tell you what, buddy. I am tickled to death that you stopped me right at this point because the thing that I have got to tell the folks right back there is one of those exciting things that comes along about once in a lifetime. You may have heard about Jimmy Hart getting out an injunction prohibiting me, me, from coming back to Memphis, Tennessee. I can't believe it. Jimmy Hart, take a listen to this. My old pal, handsome Jimmy Valiant, the CEO of Memphis Wrestling, has gotten it all straightened out. Your injunction removed, gone, and I am on my way back to Memphis, Tennessee. Will you put this down on your calendar, Jimmy, and all you folks out there? I want you to hear this. Sunday, the 28th day of September, Mid-South Coliseum, we're going to be there with a Mid-South Fair and a great show. And the day before, that is on Saturday the 27th, we're going to be right there with you, Corey and Brian Teglin. By the way, the stories I've been hearing, you guys are doing a great job in spite of all the stuff you've had to put up with us, Hart, and all of those other guys. Well, you listen to this, my friend. We're going to be coming back there. That's on September the 27th, on that day of the show, and the Mid-South Coliseum for the 28th, the Mid-South Fair. That's something my wife and I have been trying to get back up there for the last four years. And we still hadn't gotten there until this came along, when in connection with the Mid-South Fair, Memphis Wrestling is going to be taking place on Sunday the 28th. Well, sir, all it is is just good things on top of the other. Be with us and join us when we get. Thanks, Corey, for letting me tell everybody that we're coming back. Bye-bye. Hey, 
I tell you what I want to do right now. Always good to hear from Lance. Looking forward to him being here with us. Yeah. I hear the music. Let's get him out here now. The Grandmaster. Brian. Christopher. Brian. Brian. Boy, all this stuff that's going on. I'm understanding if my ears are uh, clear. You are teaming up. <laughs> I know it. By the way, your, your ears aren't clear. I see you have a lot of wax. Maybe you need huh? to take care of that right now. But, Corey, whatever you do, when you get through clean out yours, be sure and be here next week. Oh, I will. Be sure and be here, all you people right here, because one of the biggest matches of all time is going to take place. We're going to start the show off with it. The first match right here on Channel 30 next week. Shock and B.A.D. with Jimmy Hart in their corner taking on the team of Dangerous Doug Gilbert and Brian Christopher. And Doug, Doug, hey, are you, are you beginning to wonder right now? Are you beginning to think of what type of partner are you going to have in Brian Christopher? Is it going to be, is it going to be somebody that's going to, that's going to ball their fist up and nail you right between the eyes? Or is it going to be somebody that might tag your hand, come in and clean house? Am I going to tag you, Doug? Or am I going to beat you, like I said, right between the eyes and then leave you laying for shock and all to destroy you of you and leave you a bloody pulp? You better think about it. Am I going to be your partner or am I going to be your enemy? That leaves you a whole week, Doug. Just sit and think about it. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do, Corey? Only I know that. Ooh, we'll find out next week at 10.30. Right here at UPN. Take a quick time out. When we come back, Cyborg in the ring. We'll be right back. The hottest giveaway of the summer is going on now at Fitzgerald's Casino. I've been hammered all my life. But when it comes to car insurance, don't you get slammed. Call the man from AutoPlan. AutoPlan has nine locations to serve you and no down payment. So remember, don't get slammed. Call the man from AutoPlan today. Liability is the law, so call the man from AutoPlan. The hottest giveaway of the summer is going on now at Fitzgerald's Casino. Talk Radio 990. KWAM. Well, here we are, back on Memphis Wrestling, and we await the debut of Cyborg right here in the middle of the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Jimmy Hart, the mouth of the South, and he's got the XWF champion with him. You know what? There's no doubt about it. Jerry the King Lawler's beat some of the biggest names in the history of professional wrestling right here in Memphis, Tennessee. And last week, he beat Triple H. Well, let me tell you something, Jerry Lawler. You're talking about looking for an opponent. Well, look no farther. This man is six foot nine and weighs 500 pounds, and he's easy to find. Last time at the Mid South Coliseum last month, you were left laying in the ring looking up for the lights, right, Big Mabel? You see, Jerry Lawler has always been known to be a highly intelligent man, and he realizes that time and time again he faces King Mabel, and time and time again he loses. Jerry Lawler, anytime you get ready for the champion of the world, step up to the plate and prove who the real king is. <laughs> He's the real king, baby. Well, there he is, the XWF heavyweight champion, King Mabel, and he's got the mouth of the South. Jimmy Hart, I'm telling you, along with them, well, I'm telling you, Brian, we've been waiting, and I'm telling you the time is now. It's now. Yeah, here comes referee Bill Rush. It's the debut. Of Cyborg. Yeah,
standing at six foot eight. Referee Bill Rush is in the ring, and he's got that at laser eye on his opponent, Jeremy right Young. Yeah. Oh, Jeremy oh. Young said, "Hey, you're nothing, man. I'm ready for you. Let's get it on." Look at Cyborg. Picked him up. Whoa! Young saying, "You're not, you're not anything." I, I think he might want to change his mind about that. We slowly get some of the lights on here back in the studio. Now slowly. we see what we got to deal with there. And Cyborg, what a chop. Oh. Wow, what a big dude, Brian. Six foot eight, 299 pounds. He is awesome. First look at him live in the studios here at UPN 30. Cyborg. We've been talking about it for a while, Corey, and now we're seeing... Whoa, man, Jimmy Hart and Mabel talking about competition being around. Well, they don't have to look very far either. No, they have to just walk in here and they'll find competition. Look at Cyborg, man. He grabs Jeremy Young. Young gets out of the move. Cyborg holding Boy. him with, a left, with his left arm there as a Almost choke. Just in defiance. Working over. Looks like he's about to yank his arm off, Brian. Slams him down. What a big dude, man. Wow. Impressive, I've got to say, Brian. Just Cyborg into the rope. He grabs Jeremy Young and just slams him down. I'm telling you, Young looks like he's already ran out of gas against this big guy. Runs in after him and Cyborg standing there. Tries to clothesline him. It's like running into a brick wall, Corey. I'm telling you. Whoa. Big elbow down. And Cyborg. Unbelievable, Brian. It's target practice out there. Six foot eight, 299. Back. Belly to belly with a back flip. And I'm telling you, he looks awesome. Big forearm right across the back of Jeremy Young. And Cyborg. Setting him up now, look out, high, power slam, and oh, I got ten, it. two. There is your winner on his debut in Memphis Wrestling. We're out of time, Brian. Oh. We'll be back next week, 10.30, for more Memphis Wrestling. For Brian Teckland, I'm Corey Macklin. Bye-bye, everybody. Memphis Wrestling was brought to you by Auto Plan Insurance. Greg, door for men. Burst. Dayton's Rentals. Cash Depot. Injury lawyer John Michael Bailey. And by South Haven Pontiac Buick and GMC. Find your new home on the Mid South Home Builders Guide brought to you. Memphis Wrestling is brought to you by South Haven Pontiac Buick and GMC. Dayton's Rentals. Greg's Store for Men. Burt. Cash Depot. And by Auto Plan Insurance. Corey Macklin, Brian Teckland at ringside, and boy, are we ready. Uh, wait a minute. I hear Jimmy Hart pulling up, and he's got some guys with him. What, in a white truck? They're doing what? Oh. Oh, my goodness. Is that hard? Isn't that? The director outside. 
that hasn't been here in a long time. Fans, you're going to love that. And a huge announcement. Get ready. Mid-South Coliseum, Memphis Wrestling is getting ready for a big day with the Mid-South Fair. We'll be talking about that. That's coming up, and we'll have more about that a little bit later on all today right here on Memphis Wrestling, the home of rhythm and bruise. And, oh, here's referee Bill Rush. As we get ready for our first action, and, uh, oh, boy. Before we can get going this morning, it's too early on a Saturday, Jimmy, for you out here with all this stuff. Look at this, baby. The XWF heavyweight champion of the world, Big Mabel. Tell him, Daddy. You know what, Corey Macklin? You need to spend some more money and get me some competition because I'm running rough shot through everybody. I want some competition. I don't care where in the, in the globe they come from because I'm the world heavyweight champion, and I do mean world. And this is the worst bounty hunter in the history of professional wrestling. Poncho, this is what happens when the family gets rid of somebody, baby. Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, he's got his world heavyweight champion, Brian. Al Poncho is the opponent. And King Mabel standing on the other side. And I'm telling you, Poncho has got his hands full today because the world champion is in the house. Brian Al Ziggler. Poncho, King Mabel with a lot of attitude this morning. We're at a new time, 10.30 this morning. Call your neighbors, call your friends, tell them we're on early because of football uh, for a while now. And we're already getting into this. Yeah, because I'm telling you, I'm sure a lot of people don't know. 10.30, 10.30 this week, 10.30 next week, the week after, the week after, That's the week right. after. 30 right here on UPN 30. Big day lined up today. Can't wait to talk to the king. I was down at the pyramid last night. And a big night and a big win for the king. Whoa, look at Mabel. Boy, Lawler with a big victory last night in a non-sanctioned title bout, but he got a win over Triple H down there at the Pyramid last night. Look at Mabel, man. This guy is going to be XWF time. champion. Listen to Corey Macklin name dropping. I was down at the Pyramid last night. You know what he was doing out there? Getting autographs from all the wrestlers. That's all he was doing, baby. Trying to act like Don King, a professional Yeah, wrestler. right. Oh, my goodness. Oh. He smothered him. Man, oh, man. He smashed him into the mat. El Pancho in a world of trouble this morning on Memphis Wrestling, the home of Rhythm and Bruise. Look at Big Mabel. Spinning, kicking down he goes. Man, Mabel, oh, man. Spins right into El Pancho. That's a lot of weight. I am telling you, referee Bill Rush standing in and trying to get some order to this big dude, and it's not highly likely that it's going to happen. Double. Choke, lands him down. One, two count. Well, 
That's gonna do it. Turn off the lights. The party's over, Brian. Barely Ziegler. breaking a sweat for King Mabel. Take a take a quick break. Be right back. When we come back, we'll have out here in the studio the superstar Bill Dundee. We'll be back. If you have a mobility problem, here's an important message from Hoveround. If you pre-qualify for a power chair, we will deliver a brand new hover round to your home. That's right. Unlike many mobility companies that offer deals too good to be true, our offer is straightforward. We will deliver you a power chair if you pre-qualify. It's that simple. But that's not the only difference between us and other mobility companies that just sell products. At Hoveround, we manufacture power chairs in the USA. Our complete line of power chairs and motorized scooters are the most comfortable you can sit in, and they're built to last a lifetime. There are no middlemen. We have service locations coast to coast. We do all the paperwork, and we offer the best customer service anywhere. We like to look at our chair and our system as a solution to problems. Oh, I love it. I really do. It's best thing since legs. <laughs> Call now. Our mobility specialist will come to your home and evaluate exactly which hoveround is best for you. Over 30,000 doctors have prescribed hoveround power chairs, and in most cases, the costs were 100% covered. So why settle for a generic product when you can own the name brand, a hoveround, for little or no money out of pocket? Come to find out, it didn't cost me one single penny, and I now have my hoveround. If you have Medicare or private insurance and want to own a hoveround, call right now. We'll send you a free video. We'll evaluate your individual needs. And if you pre-qualify, we'll deliver a power chair to your home. It can't get better than this. At Hoveround, we believe you should be free to see the world. And remember, if you pre-qualify for a power chair, we'll deliver a brand new hoveround to your home. Call now. Well, here we are back on Memphis Wrestling Home of Rhythm and Brews, and I want to get out right now. Let's go ahead and get out the CEO of the XWF, the superstar Bill Dundee. Let's get him out here and talk to him, yeah. After what he pulled down at uh, Rumble at the Roundhouse at the Coliseum, here he is. Well, Billy, I guess you hear the reaction of the people. They're like I am. They can't believe this stunt you pulled down there at the Coliseum. Well, that was no stunt, brother. That was me getting offered a job, and I took it. Now, if you don't shut up, I'm going to have you ejected from the building because I am the boss around here. Now, Corey, you know... And I know, and every wrestler knows, nothing happens unless Bill Dundee says it, right? Okay. Well, I guess. Well, all right. Brian Christopher's running around here booking at a losing leave town match, and he probably called Handsome Jimmy Valiant, who is senile, and he said, I want to book this Handsome match. Handsome Jimmy is not senile, Bill. Yeah, he said, well, he can't find it here today, ain't here today, is he? He left to come here, and he ain't found the building yet. He's senile. Well... Nothing is going to happen unless the boss says it's going to happen. And I'm the boss. I'm the man that says it's going to happen. Well, Brian Christopher, Doug Gilbert. Well, I don't want Doug to leave. No, no, Brian Christopher, it is not going to happen. Doug Gilbert, it is not going to happen. And so the loser leaves down with Brian Christopher and Doug Gilbert. Well, Dundee, you are the CEO, so I guess you're pushing your weight around. All right. Now, here's another thing. The so-called king. Well, no, he is the king. I'm going to give you your respect, Jerry, because you've been around here a long time. Yeah, you're the king of wrestling. But you ain't going to book no match either. And you're certainly not going to book one against yours truly. Oh, 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 that's what you didn't want, is that the king challenged you to a match in the ring today. No, 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 it ain't. I'm not scared of it. I am the CEO, and I got my business suit on, and I'm not wrestling. And he ain't wrestling either unless I book the match. I booked the loser Lee with a handicap with him, right? Well, yeah, you did. You Last week, you booked the handicap. Well, wait a minute. Here's somebody that's got something to say about that, Bill. It, it, here is, here is the king, Jerry Lawler. How you like that, Bill? 
<laughs> Sounds totally different from how they reacted to you after what you did. Well, uh, let me just say this. You know, um, Bill, I'm standing back there listening to you talk about how you're the boss. Uh, uh, nobody's, nobody's decisions mean anything except yours. Handsome Jimmy, I guess this is, uh, means absolutely nothing. Now, first of all, uh, y you realize that Handsome Jimmy uh, has other business somewhere else this morning. It's not that he's out looking for the TV station. We all know that. Um, he's up in New York. And I also, you know, I also know that, yeah, I made the challenge last week, Bill, for you and I to have a match. And about Thursday, I got the word.